This video lesson is on the multiple expansion of checkable deposits. How does the fractional reserve system allow banks to create money? The amount of reserves a bank holds is known as its total reserves. Total reserves are composed of required reserves, which the bank must keep, and excess reserves, which the bank can loan to other customers. The reserves held by the bank beyond those required by the Fed are excess reserves. Assume that the required reserve ratio is 10% of checkable deposits and banks lend out the other 90% of their deposits. Banks wish to hold no excess reserves and all money lent out by one bank is redeposited in another bank. Under these assumptions, if a new checkable deposit of $1,000 is made in Bank 1, how much will Bank 1 keep as required reserves? $100. How much will Bank 1 lend out? $900. How much will be redeposited in Bank 2? $900. How much will Bank 2 keep as required reserves? $90. How much will Bank 2 lend out? $810. And how much will be redeposited in Bank 3? $810. Another way to represent the multiple expansion of deposits is through T accounts. In short, a T account is an accounting relationship that looks at changes in balance sheet items. Since balance sheets must balance, so too must T accounts. Liabilities include demand deposits, what people put into the bank, and assets include required reserves and money that can be lent out. How much money would be created if the bank continued to loan out its excess reserves? To find out, we must calculate the deposit expansion multiplier. The deposit expansion multiplier determines how much money can be created in the economy from an initial deposit. The formula for the deposit expansion multiplier is 1 divided by the reserve requirements. If the Federal Reserve set the reserve requirement at 10%, the deposit expansion multiplier would be 1 divided by 0.10 which equals 10. To find the maximum amount of money that could be created, the formula is the deposit expansion multiplier times the excess reserves. The multiplier is 10 and excess reserves from the initial bank deposit are $900. So the potential expansion of money M1 would be $9,000.